more power for government. Uh, even if you don't personally play a lot of video games, I'm sure we, we all know people that do. And according to my audience survey, over half of the people in this class believe that these games can have negative effects on the people that play them. While only 40% of the people in this class believe the government should be intervening and regulating them. Uh, I would just like to emphasize why video games should not be regulated by the government because it's unconstitutional, it's an overreaction, and there are better alternatives to, to government regulation. Uh, my first point would be that they are protected by the First Amendment just like all other forms of media. Uh, on the website First Amendment Center, it says that the First Amendment provides the right to free speech, which includes all types of media from movies to books, and those, those ones don't always get the same like, reputation as video games as far as violence is concerned, but they can still have the same type of effects. And also on that same website, it says that the courts have repeatedly denied states the ability to regulate video games due to violence because it would be against the First Amendment. And in the New York Times, there is an article about a pretty recent court case that was decided on by the Supreme Court called Brown v. Entertainment Merchants Association. It was actually decided on earlier this year, I believe it's in, in June, late June. And the, the law that was proposed in California was that video game stores would not be able to sell games to, like violent video games to minors and there would be a thousand dollar fine if they were caught doing this. Uh, the Supreme Court voted seven to two in favor of the First Amendment. Uh, obviously the video game companies praised the decision saying that, that um, it was a win-win for both the people and for the companies because the companies still have the right to make the games but the parents still have the ability to, to not allow their kids to play them. And one of the co-authors of the bill, Senator Lee, he condemned the bill, obviously, or condemned, condemned the decision, obviously. But uh, he, he stated that this was just another decision that would favor companies over the lives of the children. But there is nothing in the decision that forces children to have to play these games. It still gives the parents the decision whether or not to allow it. So the decision really at least in my opinion, really did benefit both groups. Uh, now that we know something about the legality of government intervention, I'd now like to tell you why it's unnecessary even if it was. Uh, government interaction in violent video games regulation is no reaction. Uh, the crime levels have continuously dropped since 1994, as seen in this visual. Um, and obviously the video games have become uh, not necessarily more violent, but there's been more video games that have been made since 1994. And the, the crime level has been continuously dropping and it looks like it's pretty much level off as of now. And this just shows that even without government intervention in video games, the crime level has still been dropping. And this is a a uh, graphic from the U.S. Depart Department of Justice. And according to the Seattle Post Intelligencer, there are, they cited two, um, two doctors who are part of the Harvard Medical School <coughs> who claim that the media is always changing and that does not necessarily mean that we should overreact and say that these things are definitely bad. One example was comic books back in the 1950s. I mean, obviously the 1950s was a really conservative time, and then when the comic books came out, people were like, whoa, there's like superheroes, you know, battling people, and there were violence involved in that. And, I mean, they didn't, they didn't have the, the main effect that they believed back in that time period. So we really don't know for sure if these video games are even doing, doing a whole lot of harm. And also they said that uh, the people who play the games online, which has 
a social aspect to it, which one of the main points against the video games is that it makes kids anti-social. So if they are able to you know, hang out with their friends while playing the games, I can, I can really help them to, to not cause them to be violent. Um, there are also more tangible ways to control video games. Uh, one, one is the ESRB, which stands for the Entertainment Software Re Software Rating Board, and they give they give uh, age qualifications as well as like a rationale behind why each game would be rated the way it is. And I'm sure we've all seen these before. These are just the different ratings. You know, you got the early childhood one, which basically means it's for the games for young kids, and you know that everyone won means <laughs> what it says. I mean, knowledge is pretty self-explanatory. That everyone can play it, and everyone ten and up, and then teen, mature, and adults only. So as long as parents are aware of these, they can they can control what their kids are playing. And uh, in the, the these are these are off of the ESRB website. And also in the USA Today, there was a there was an article that cited Dr. Cronenberger, who was a psychiatrist for the Indiana Medical School. And he basically just said that the parents need to understand the game that their kids are playing. And that they, they know the best how their children are going to react to the games, so that so they should be the ones that be control rather than the government. Uh, all children react differently as far as their maturity level to different types of games. And he said it's important to observe your children during and after gameplay just to see what kind of effects the games are having on your children, and then you can adjust accordingly as to which games they should be allowed to play and which ones they shouldn't. Uh, now let's just take a final look at what I've said. Um, video games should not be regulated by the government because they, the legality of it is just, it's just not, not constitutional to be, for the government to regulate them. Uh, it's, it's unnecessary for the government to do so. And there are alternatives to government intervention that work just as well, if not better. I'm not saying that the vi video games don't cause violence, but I'm, I am saying that it's not the government's responsibility to regulate it. Uh, given, given the state of our economy, do we really want this to be in the hands of our government?